Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the 15 item work wardrobe. So you guys really really enjoy my 12 item work wardrobe so I thought I'd do an updated take on this. So this is going to be a little bit of a seasonal corporate work wardrobe lookbook. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk you through the 15 items that I've got here, why I think they're really great staples for, there's going to be a little bit more geared towards autumn winter, I'm going to do a spring summer one coming soon, and I'm going to put here the time code in case you just want to jump ahead and see the 20 or so outfits that I pull together with these items. As you guys probably know, my wardrobe philosophy is definitely centered around those basic pieces, things that are going to be really versatile and that you're going to be able to mix and match. And a lot of these items that I've got here actually work really well in both a casual working environment setting and also for the weekend too. I really like to be able to make the most of what I have. So starting with the first piece, this is a really beautiful kind of biscuity caramel brown t-shirt from Inku. So it's got a really nice ribbed pattern. It's very Fitted, which I think is really sleek it looks great tucked into skirts and it's a little bit different to sort of saying a white tee or something like that I love the fact that it adds a little bit of color particularly as the rest of the items that I picked out here are pretty monochrome item number two is your classic white silk shirt this one's from Evelyn that's from the clean silk range this one here is slightly sheer so depending on your work environment maybe you want to get something that's a little bit thicker or maybe you prefer a white cotton shirt I will link some alternatives in the description box below but you could also wear a little camisole or something like that underneath just to protect your modesty but this really is one of those wardrobe workhorses and there's a reason why this is a classic and why it always shows up in those lists of classic items that you need to have in your wardrobe Item number three is another shirt, but this one is a little bit different. This one here is a striped shirt, which I like because it's a really neutral, understated pattern. This is almost a pinstripe as well. Uh, this one is actually a collarless silk shirt, and I got this one from Equipment. I believe this one's now sold out, but I will find some alternatives. I really like the fact that this one is quite loose. You can wear it untucked. You could also wear it tied at the waist if you wanted to wear it on the weekend, maybe with some high-waisted white trousers. I think that would be beautiful too, but just a really nice, understated piece love the fact that it's a little bit of print given that like I said before all of these items are feeling neutral <laughs> Item number four is probably my favorite transitional piece of the moment. It's the speckled cashmere shrunken jumper from Everlane. I like the fact that it's a charcoal color, but it's got these little white flecks through it. Again, this just makes it a little bit more interesting. The silhouette itself is very, very classic, very elegant, and pairs really nicely tucked into trousers or skirts. Item number five is just a classic turtleneck. I really feel like you can't go wrong with something like this in your wardrobe, and this is something that I wear a lot, even just as a layering piece. This works really well underneath dresses and you don't need to spend a lot of money on this. Mine is from Kate Sylvester and I bought it quite a number of years ago at the Maya sale. However, I know Uniqlo do really great options and I have found a really similar alternative at Shopoff as well, which looks just like this one. So really just a nice, great turtleneck. I think is really versatile. It just can be worn so many ways, even just on its own. And it's also a great option for your weekend wardrobe because you can tuck it into a pair of jeans that makes it a little bit more casual and just some high heels and it you're ready to go. Item number six is my final top, and this is actually a really oversized sweater. And depending on your work environment, you may not be able to get away with this. If you work in a super corporate office, that might not be right. You kind of have to judge that based on where you work. Um, personally, I've never found any issues anywhere I've worked, but this is from Joseph, and it's sort of an ivory cream color. It's got a really nice rib detail to it which I love, it comes down the back of the sweater and also down the sleeves too. This is so cozy and really just one of my favorite winter essentials. And it's probably one of my most worn items over the last kind of three to six months as well. Item number seven is a blazer. And I think any classic blazer which really suits your frame and your silhouette is perfect to have in your wardrobe. It really will be one of the most worn items that you have. I've had my Helmet Lang blazer here for over seven years now and it truly has been one of my most loved and most cherished items in my wardrobe. I spent a little bit more, so this obviously is on the more expensive end of the spectrum. However, it has shown through in terms of quality that it has really lasted the distance and the fact that I'm still wearing it seven years later, I think speaks volumes and this is one of those items that will really tie together so many of those outfits it'll help to elevate your look especially if you're wearing something like this little tee as well see that pairs really nicely underneath it looks really smart especially if you've got a nice little necklace with it as well but just a great piece to have in your work wardrobe a definite essential item number eight is a dress 
and I've opted for this really beautiful black wool me dress from Bowden. And what I love about this particular style is the fact that it's got this white contrast stitch detailing around the waist and also down the center of the skirt and it has a little slit at the bottom as well. It zips up at the back, it's got short sleeves so you can layer things underneath it. I think you could wear something long sleeved if you wanted to kind of maybe make it a little bit more warmer, a little bit more versatile. This is definitely perfect for those transitional seasons and depending on the climate where you live, you might be able to get away with this in summer too. I love the fact that it's fully lined, so it's definitely high quality too. And this is, yeah, one of those great work wardrobe staples. I just, this is probably my favorite piece in this entire 15 item work wardrobe for sure. Item number nine is a black pencil skirt. So just a really simple black pencil skirt is fine. I've opted for this one from Saba, which has the zip detail, which I think is really unusual. It makes things a little bit more interesting. It does have a slit detail at the front, so it might be a little bit too risque, depending on your office standards, but I personally really like it and I like the fact that it's a little bit different to just a straight up and down pencil skirt. I really think that you can show a lot of personality in your outfits just depending on those simple little touches and design details that your wardrobe staples have. Talking about personality, item number 10 has that in space. So this is a black and champagne leopard print skirt from White Valentine. Now I really love being able to incorporate just a little bit of pattern into my outfits and I think that if you pair it with a really simple uh, wardrobe it's classics then it's going to look very understated and elegant and I love this particular skirt because it's cut on the bias. It slightly flares out at the bottom and it just skims and hugs your curves very nicely. Uh, that's what I particularly like about this style and there are so many iterations of this out there at the moment you don't need to go for something printed if it's not not your style but a nice sort of satiny slip skirt I think is a great option to have and I feel like the print makes it look a little bit less like it's a, a nighty fabric so this is item number 10. Item number 11 is a pair of classic black trousers. These ones are from Zara and they're high waisted they've got this very cool pin tuck detailing at the waist pockets which I think are kind of a necessity and I like the fact that these have a slightly cropped hem. I find that it's the most flattering leg length on me in particular and one of my favorite alternatives for this if you can't get your hands on this particular pair or you don't have something similar is the Uniqlo Smart Ankle Style Trousers. I think they're a brilliant wardrobe staple. I've got a pair in black and I wear them so much. Item number 12 is the final piece of clothing and it is a beautiful coat. The one that I have gone with is this really beautiful houndstooth design from Bowdoin and I just think it's absolutely beautiful. This one is sort of dust length. I folded up the sleeves but you can wear them loose. It's quite an oversized sort of a design and it's a robe style so it does up at the waist with a belt. I just think that this is really eye-catching and it really helps to tie in all of these outfits and kind of elevate a lot of them to the next level. The first thing that your work colleagues are going to see when you come into the office in the morning is your coat so I do think it's worth investing in a high quality one especially because it is going to be something that you're wearing every single day and that hopefully you're going to be wearing for years and years to come. The final three items are all accessories and again this is going to come down to personal preference but this is just what I personally think works very well for a corporate wardrobe and I've gone for really neutral accessories. I've gone for black because they go with absolutely everything. And the first accessory that I wanted to mention is a pair of black pointed toe pumps. Mine are from Isabel Morant. I've had these for a number of years. They've got a little bow detail on them which I think just makes them a little bit more special. Uh, obviously they're suede so they're not the most practical. A great leather pair or vegan leather pair if you don't like to purchase leather items is also a really great option too. Um, I like the heel height on these. It's pretty reasonable. I think it's maybe nine centimeters, so not too high, but it does give you that height and it does look very professional. The other pair of shoes that I have is a pointed toe ballerina pump. So these ones are from Charlotte Olympia. These are sold out, so I will link a similar pair from Nordstrom uh, down below, which look very, very similar to these except they're leather. Again, these are suede, so not the most practical. However, they go with absolutely everything. The pointed toe just, I think, really elevates your outfits, particularly if you are wearing a more flat shoe. Uh, and they're very, very comfortable, very easy to walk in, and I think they still look very professional for the office. Then the final item is a classic tote bag. And the one that I used 
basically every single day for work is this Kuyana structured tote bag and I love this because it is really roomy it is slightly structured however it is still quite soft so you can see it sort of gives you a little bit of room to put things in there that are a bit bulkier which I like it fits really nicely over the shoulder there's a good shoulder strap drop here which is very comfortable and it fits over a coat without it being too snug uh, and the straps don't really fall off your shoulders either which I think is nice. I think it's the fact that they're quite slender and uh, they're very flat. So a great tote bag. There are so many different options out there. I don't necessarily think you need to go down the designer route. I think something that's a little bit more mid-priced is a great option for you. Uh, something like this. This is around the 250 Australian dollar mark or maybe 300 depending on the exchange rate uh, and I can speak for the fact that I've had a, a previous bag from Kuyana and they're very good quality they last a really long time I have done a full review which I will link up here in case you guys want to go and check that out but yeah it's just a good quality staple bag which I know will last for years and years and really that's sort of what I think you're looking for in a work bag you want something that's going to fit all of your essentials but it's also going to last a long time so those are the 15 items which I think are really classic and really versatile and that you can make so many different outfits with and actually I'm going to flip over now to the styling section where I can show you how I would style up all of these different pieces for some really work appropriate looks.
love to know which piece in particular was your favorite. Thank you guys as always so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this from me and give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I am going to be filming a spring summer version of this as well. So keep your eyes peeled if you live in the southern hemisphere like me. Thank you again for watching and see you soon. Bye! Thank mm -hmm. you.